Now we're going to look at a problem dealing with perimeter. Find the perimeter of the figure shown. We have a figure where we remember that the perimeter means the distance around. So for instance, if we start at this vertex, we would start figuring out our perimeter by moving in one direction or the other. For instance, what if we start moving vertically? We're going to move up, and we see that we have 8 centimeters. If we move across, we see that we have 12 centimeters to add to that. But as we start to move down, we notice that we don't have that length. To determine that length, we can see that if we move across, we have a length of 8 centimeters. This length is 5 centimeters. So since we have right angles in the entire portion of this figure, we can see that if we have the 8 centimeters minus the 5 centimeters, that would leave us with this length of 3 centimeters. So let's add that on. Next we have another length that is not measured. We're going to have our 12 centimeters going across horizontally. We have 9 centimeters this way, so that if we form right angles moving upward, we can see that this would be 9 plus another 3 to give us 12, and that's going to be 3 centimeters here. Let's add that on. And then making our way around, we go down 5 centimeters, and then we go across to our starting point, another 9 centimeters. Now, let's add those values together to give us our perimeter. 8 plus 12 is 20, plus 3 is 23, plus 3 is 26, plus 5 is 31, plus 9 is 40. So our perimeter is 40 centimeters.